This is a live satellite look at where Ian is churning right now off the Florida coast. The U.S. National Hurricane Center says Ian is now just shy of a Hurricane 5 status with top winds hitting 155 miles per hour. The storm is expected to make landfall in Florida sometime this afternoon. Now let's get back to this ladder because along with the strong winds, flooding is expected to be a major problem and we wanted to show you just how high that storm surge could be. If you're not familiar, storm surge is how high the water would be when it goes. So this is a 10 foot ladder, which is exa exactly expected all the way up here in the WCCO studio. This is how high the storm water, the storm surge is expected to be in Florida once the storm hits. So this is why they were telling people you have got to get out. You have got to evacuate. Now let's get to Key West, Florida, already seeing street flooding as long as well as the strong winds. Some two and a half million people in the region, they were ordered or advised to get out, evacuate the area ahead of Ian's landfall. We always use the adage, you can uh, hide from the wind, but you need to run from that water. Officials are also warning of widespread power outages that could take days to repair once that storm passes.